हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कल्पना एंड यू आर वाचिंग फार्मेसी लेसन्स मेड इजी लेट्स बिगिन टुडेज टॉपिक व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट ऑफिशियल फार्माकोपिया एक्चुअली इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू से व्हेन द फर्स्ट फार्माकोपिया वाज पब्लिश्ड द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ चाइनीज मेटीरिया मेडिका इज सेट टू हैव बीन प्रिपेयर बाय अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड बी सी बाई The Egyptian medical document Abrus Papyrus was written about 1500 BC. It was found between the legs of a mummy in the Theban necropolis and then later was purchased by Egyptian logist George Abrus from antique dealer at Luxor City. It is the most lengthy of the medical papyri and constitutes a huge roll of 20 meter long and 30 cm wide dealing mainly with internal medicines which concentrate on diseases of the stomach anus eye skin extremities and dental diseases as well as some anatomical and physiological data Abrus papyrus includes 877 treatment recipes for different diseases and more than 400 drugs were described in it. Some books on materia medica was written by Theophrastus, Lagrus, Dioscorides, Galen and many others also. The idea of pharmacopoeia with official status to be followed by all apothecaries originated in Florence. It is sometimes said the first real pharmacopoeia was Novio Recepto Composito. Okay, and it was made official in Florence in 1498. Or the book prepared by Velicrus Cordus, which was adopted officially by Nuremberg in 1546 Valerius Cordus was a German physicist and a botanist who compiled first pharmacopoeia and carefully described techniques to be employed in the preparation of drugs He is also widely credited with having pioneered the method of synthesis of ether He identified and described several new plant species Cordus free thoughts and critical inquiry were in contrast to the secrecy prevailing prone prior in his times New Receptio was originally written in Italian it was published and became the legal standard for the city state in 1498 it was the result of collaboration of the guild of apothecaries and the medical society one of the earliest manifestation of constructing interprofessional relations the professional group received official advice and guidance from the powerful dominion monk savonarola who at the time was a political leader in florence the other document were prepared by adolf oco in 1564 which was actually called a pharmacopoeia and was made official in augsburg in 1613 i hope you like this video if you really like it please click on the like button share it on social media and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much